My name is Barbara the Welder and I'm a full-time metal sculptor. Today I have a great project for you. I'm going to share with you how to weld a dog using silverware. Really fun project and it's easy to customize so you can make it your very own. Choosing the right silverware for your project is a delicate process. The materials you're gonna need for this project are six spoons. I have two large spoons and four small ones. This is gonna make up the head, the body, and the four legs. Now, as you can see, the handles are already cut off of these. I used them in another project, and I won't be needing them, so these work for this project. As you go along with this project, you'll see that you'll be able to change up the sizes and shapes of your silverware to change the style of your dog. Because we're going to cut silverware, we're going to need a grinder with a cutoff wheel. Now, if you're already the poster child for safety, go ahead and take a nap during this next section. But if you're not the poster child for safety, then you're gonna to wanna to sit up and pay attention. you need the proper safety equipment. I wear safety glasses underneath a face shield and I always wear my ear pluggers. Your first step is to cut the two spoons for the body and the head. You're going to do that by cutting right off at the base of the spoon on one for the and that'll be the head. For the body you're going to take and cut the handle about an inch long out to here. So if this was a whole spoon you get about an inch of the handle. And what that'll do is it'll allow you to have a piece here that you're gonna bend up for a neck. Because I'm using these two, I'm just gonna cut an extra piece off of one of my other spoons that I'm gonna make into a neck. So that's a, a step that you'll be able to cut out. The next step is gonna be to cut the other four spoons into legs, a tail, and two ears. And we do that by marking the spoons, how long you want the legs. This is gonna be a foot, and this is going to be a leg, those will get bent. So just mark each of them, make sure that they are marked in the same spot. The ears are going to be made by these two up here. I'm going to take two pieces here. And the tail, I'm going to do a little bit longer tail, and the tail is going to be right here on this one. This little piece here I've got is going to be the neck that I'm going to need to cut for mine. So you're going to have four legs, you're going to have the tail, this long piece here, and then these two pieces here are going to be the ears. Now if you want longer ears, this is the part where you can get creative. You can make the tail short, you can make the ears long, you can make the legs super long, however that you want to design yours. With everything cut, your next step is to take the body with about an inch of the handle still on it and I want you to bend it up at just about 90 degrees, give or take. Each of your legs, same thing. You're going to want to make sure that each of them are the same, the handles are the same length where you cut them. You're going to bend them spoon side down, you're going to bend them up at 90 degrees. The way I do it is I clamp it into my vise, or you can clamp it to your bench of the clamp, and then I just hammer them. You don't need to heat them up, you just go ahead and hammer on. Now that we have all the pieces cut and bent, it's finally time to do some welding. I'm going to start off with welding the ears onto the head.
Your next step is to take the body and weld the head onto it. And you just want to look at it and see where you want it positioned. If you want them to have a longer neck, if you want them to have a shorter neck, just play around and be creative and make it the way you want it. But it just gets welded at one spot right onto the back. Next, weld the tail onto the back of the body. And you just need one happy tack on either side of the tail to hold it. Now we get to weld on the legs. When he's all done, you want to hit him with a wire brush and some clear coat. Make sure that you always clean up after your dog.